of humility. In any city, in any country, go to any hospital you can get yourself to and ask to visit the holder of humility. The attendant will bow their head, grasp your hand and lead you down a pure white hallway. You must keep your hand within the attendant's hand if you wish to live. As you walk down the hallway, you will hear a piano playing faintly in the distance. Should the song stop playing, whisper, You missed a key. If the song ceases to play, the hallway will turn pitch black. Not even a miracle will save you from what you will then experience. Should the song keep playing, continue down the hallway until the attendant lets go of your hand and runs ahead. Don't bother chasing after them. Walk forward five steps, then turn to the left. You should see a lone doorknob on the wall. If there is no knob, you will be wandering an endless hallway for all eternity. If there is a knob, turn it and enter the room. The melody of the piano will be consumed by silence within the desolate room. As you enter the room, shut the door behind you. It should lock you inside. The room is small, the walls and floor covered with droplets of water, a clean bed with a pillow, both covered in clean white sheets. A digital clock with the time 3.00 p.m., an old black grand piano, and a bare mirror hanging on the wall. Look at your reflection in the mirror. You should see yourself as you are, and the room as it is. Stare straight into your eyes. Ask nothing but this question. Why have they no humility? Your reflection shall then smile and back away. You will witness yourself killing the child once inhabiting that room with swift stabs, punches, tearing the child apart limb from limb, and a gunshot to the head. A silent scream pierces the disturbing silence. The mirror shall then break into seven pieces. The room you are in has become the exact image of the room within the mirror. Droplets of water now blood, and a mutilated body now lay in the once clean bed. The grand piano now old, with the keys broken and scattered, and the digital clock looks like it was thrown against the wall. A vague yet familiar bullet shines on the now blood-stained pillow next to a gun. The body will now speak to you telling you to stay within the room, but do not let this bother you. You must shoot yourself with the bullet, allowing it to enter your heart. Excruciating pain will consume your body. Don't hesitate to scream. If you are lucky, you will wake up alive and well in a hospital bed of the hospital you visited. The time will be 3.00 p.m., and a slight scar will be upon your chest. Check under the pillow your head is lying upon. The diamond bullet is object 110 of 538. Would you dare kill to keep the objects apart? 